So this is what I'm finding, though. The more we are at home, the things that used to annoy me annoy me even more. For example, am I the only one who has slipped off a couch because the seat cushions never stay in place? Luckily, Sarah's here. She's, she's going to solve our annoying household problems from slippery seat cushions to droopy duvets. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, Tracy, you know what? I hear you on the sofa situation. And I think that, yeah, everything that was just a little bit annoying before is now magnified so much because we are trapped in our house with all of these issues. And uh, I'm here to solve your home's most annoying problems. And we're going to start with the slipping off the couch one. What do we do about that? Okay, so I love our sofa. It has one long cushion, looks really pretty. It's nice and deep, it's comfy to sit on, but because I'm short, every time I scoot off my <laughs> sofa, I bring that cushion with me. So I thought, why not get an inexpensive rug pad? I think I spent like $25 on, on one. And then I cut it to the size of the seat under my cushion. So this is gonna work whether you have a single cushion, two cushions, three cushions. You put this rug pad, cut it slightly larger than the cushion, so you have a little bit to just fold up the back of it or up the side of your cushion, place it on the sofa and then put your cushions back in place and they're gonna stay. Okay, that is so smart. Easy hack, we're never gonna slip off a couch again. Here's another one I find very annoying. <laughs> the TV, when it's on and we're enjoying it, it's great. When it's off, I wish it was not even on my wall. Like what can we do about that? <laughs> Look at this behind me, beautiful art. Terrible TV. So <laughs> I have a really great trick for this. Um, you can turn your smart TV into a piece of art. So Ooh. all you need to do is go onto YouTube and then type in TV art slideshow. And then you just pick the one that fits your aesthetic. Mm. And there you go. It's a piece of art in your TV. So these slideshows run for an hour or more and they rotate through different pieces of art along a same theme. And then um, if you really, really love one, you can pause it for a little bit of time. Um, I just, uh, don't want you to do it for too long because keeping a still shot on your TV for a long period of time can damage it. Oh, see, I did not know that. So that's a good little tip as well. You can just put up a picture at the beach and pretend you're on vacation, right? Wouldn't that be nice? What do you have up for next for us there? <laughs> with, <laughs> with a drink in hand. I love that idea. <laughs> okay, so let's solve the case of the crooked candles. Have you ever, you know, styled a bunch of candlesticks on your mantle or your dining room table and they're all doing that, I've got a really, really simple trick. So all you do is light your candle mm -hmm. and let it burn a little bit to melt that wax. And then all you do is you dip that melted wax inside of your candlestick, your candle holder, set your candles in place, hold it straight. And then that wax, when it dries, is going to act like glue and your candle it's gonna stay straight. Oh, that's such a simple little hack that'll make a world of difference because that's why I, I'm not even using the long candles anymore. It drives me crazy that they're all askew. So this is a great way to solve it. Okay, what is next on our yeah, annoying sure. list, Sarah? So this is the most annoying one in my house. The, you know, you've had a long day of sitting on your wonky couch cushion, staring at your crooked <laughs> candles and you want to go to bed and you pull your duvet up and it's all duvet cover and no duvet because <laughs> yeah. it somehow has slid down to the bottom of your bed that night, right? So. Uh, it drives me nuts. So I found two solutions here for this. Um, I'm doing this on a table, but if you're doing this at home, you wanna turn your duvet cover inside out and spread it onto your bed and then lay your duvet along with it and match up your corners, mm -hmm. right? And then all you do is, I found these clips, which um, are padded on the outside here. I don't know if you can see that. They're really nice and soft, but they've got a really, really good grip on there. Okay. So you line up your corners and then you just clip them together. You do it on each corner and you're done. And I have another one. Yeah, I found these us. really cute things. You can get all different shapes. I got bunnies because why not? <laughs> uh, and they are these iron on shapes that have clips. So I ironed one on my duvet cover and I just go around that little clip in the middle, right? And then I did the same thing on my duvet and then they just snap together. And the great thing about both of these options, Trace, is that when you turn your cover right side out with your duvet, you don't oh, see anything. Perfect. So nobody's gonna know that you've done anything 
to keep it together. The one thing I do recommend though, is if you're using these, I like this idea for larger duvets. We have a king, so I'm putting these on our bed. You can do a few of them across the top so that they're, it's holding it in several places instead of just the corners. Lovely, I love it. Great hack, Sarah. You always have the best information.